Hey, I'm Tito, and I'm uh, I'm obsessed with carbon removal solutions. I uh, I started the company called Impossible Labs with my partner Matthew Eschett, and we dove into figuring out what was happening in what was happening in carbon. Uh, that led us to create the Air Miners Community, which has now grown into the world's largest community of scientists, entrepreneurs, and engineers who are uh, working to to mine carbon from the air. And I just launched the uh, Kickstarter campaign for a project called Negative, which is uh, it's 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 this idea of imagine if more of the things in our in our daily lives were made with carbon that had been pulled from the atmosphere. So if you have carbon in the air, you can make you make gasoline from it, you can make building materials, you can even make diamonds. And so we started out by making the negative bracelet, which is a bracelet that's made of carbon pulled from the air, and it pays for direct air capture machines to take carbon out of the air and, and bury even more of it underground. So overall, I'm, you know, what connects all these different, uh, these different ideas is this uh, insatiable desire to kind of figure out carbon removal. The, the price of carbon, carbon dioxide, industrial, is, is around $40 a ton, which means if it's, it's really, really cheap to, to put carbon dioxide into the air, and nobody's really willing to pay to pull it out. But we need to pull out carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The IPCC says so. Uh, there's a trillion tons of excess carbon dioxide. And so if you figure out how to, how to do that, it can be... Uh, not only economical but but useful. Um, I have this great quote from from Klaus Lackner, who's one of the uh, kind of inventors of direct air capture, where he says that if you look at a, a windmill, comparing the economics of, of the, the the energy created by the wind going through that windmill in an afternoon, he said it was about three hundred dollars. So the windmill spins all afternoon, three hundred bucks, great. But if that windmill was able to capture the carbon dioxide that was in the air that flowed over that windmill. There would be more like $20,000 of carbon dioxide in that air. Now, capturing that is, a, you know, is another matter, but it at least sets, sets up this idea that, wait, you're just getting the kinetic energy. You're getting some of the kinetic energy from that wind. But what if you're able to get the carbon instead? You'd actually be able to get far more value. Uh, and so whether that happens or not, whether we get these windmills that, that do direct air capture, I think it really sets up this idea that carbon removal and mining carbon from the air can be really valuable. It can be really a big part of our, uh, a part of our, our economy and our and our imagination and our and our entrepreneurship. So, uh, that's that's a little bit about me, and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing more of that with all of you.